What's going on YouTube? Kyger here, and in today's video we're going to talk about 10 things that the game does not tell you. I'm going to give that to you right now, let's get into it. Alright, we're here in game, I'm going to tell you at least 10 things, a couple extras as well, that the game just does not tell you or is very poor at telling you. At the end, I will give you a code word for another giveaway. Put that in the comments down below, as well as what you liked or disliked about the video, and I will be doing a giveaway the next day. So the first thing, uh, I get a lot of questions about class advancements. What does this thing do? What does this thing do? What not, right? So let's say normally, so I have armor T4 up there done, so I can see what armor T5 is, right? And I can also see what uh, Mechanician T3 is, but if I click Mechanician T4, it says I need to finish T3 before looking at T4 or T5. Now, what you can do is instead of clicking it, you can hold it and it tells you right there exactly what it does uh, at all levels, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you can even do it for Mechanician 5 over here. This works for all the classes. Uh, even if I don't have anything unlocked, so this ranger I have nothing unlocked. Uh, Marksman 5 up here, defense and crit. You can do all of them just like that. Uh, another thing, uh, in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see my gun, which you'll see, I'm clicking it right there. Uh, you'll see four red dots right indicating in the uh, right above it. That's actually the cooldown indicator of your other weapon's skills. Uh, I'll move it so you can kind of see my other weapon is a sword, that's why it's red. Now if I click my cooldowns, put everything on cooldown, I'll swap over to my sword, and you'll see everything is white because everything's on cooldown. The top right one came up because, and it's orange because the gun is an orange indicator. That cooldown is up, and if I just wait for the next one, the, the second one came up as well. If I swap, uh, you will see th those cooldowns are back up. The third one just came up as I swapped as well. And the fourth one is not done yet. If I swap back, you will see it is still not up yet. It just came back up. Now, another thing, uh, if you watched my stream the other day where I did uh, uh, Crystal Battlefield, I got a questions of... How do I target people with my skills when I'm nowhere near them? So a lot of people, you can just click a skill and it just does it, right? And that's how most people play the game. What you can also do is let's take this punitive chop, for example, that hits people in front of me. Uh, you can hold down the skill and pick which way you shoot it. Or if you want to hold on to it, drag your finger up to the X to cancel the skill. This also works with dashes, things like this. Uh, then there's two resets every day. Uh, right behind my head it says the time in game, which is right now 9.56 AM. There are two resets every day in the game. At midnight, your server time, that will be event reset. That will be when the shops and, uh, sorry, the paid shops uh, like a daily pack and stuff like that, uh, refresh, as well as if there's a new event for the day, uh, or the next couple days, it'll come out at that time. That's when, uh, right here, um, Darkness Coliseum, it went live on midnight, and, uh, this is kind of a weird one because, uh, it went live at midnight, but it's, uh, it's following the 5 a.m. daily refresh because you have daily attempts. Uh, anything you have a daily attempts for resets at 5 a.m. So some people are higher than others in Darkness Coliseum because between midnight and 5 a.m. on the first day, that was an additional day's worth of uh, daily attempts. This is also seen when a new server comes out because a new server is coded as an event in game. So at midnight, your server time, a new server can go live if uh, previous servers have enough people. 
and then uh, that server goes live at midnight you can rush through do all your dailies as long as you're done before 5 a.m then your daily attempts for dailies happens again so even though uh, you and another player started on the same server on the same day calendar day it is not the same in game day so keep that in mind uh, another thing that they don't really tell you very well is this is your equipment but they don't really tell you uh, about the costumes very well they tell you how to equip them to change your cosmetics how your character looks but they don't tell you how to get the stats so above my equipment you'll see combat equipment with a down arrow if I click that and then click appearance equipment I am getting the stat bonuses from these things I'm getting the meteor sword bonus which is by itself and then I have the full uh, Greek myth uh, set which you see set effect 5 slash 5 I get all those set bonuses and as you see there's other sets to the right that I can choose from and have mix and match and whatnot for certain stat bonuses uh, Another thing that the game does not really tell you at all, unless you really go looking for it, is Top League. So in Top League, uh, the Wednesday and Friday is a round robin. You fight pretty much anybody, and uh, you get chests for wins or losses. And then on Sunday, uh, the top eight uh, do a knockout style. If you're not in the top eight, uh, I believe it says it here. League time, qualifier, knockout, top eight, qualifier, knockout phase, attendance, chest. This is what I want to talk about. If you're not in the top eight, players who are not qualified for the knockout phase can come and get rare chests for watching the games. You will get a chest for watching each of the knockout uh, phases. It is to get you engaged and see what other top players are doing uh, next we have uh, special quests so advanced test request this is the special uh, special requests so every day you do your a uh, hundred collect your hundred things and then go kill the elite uh, most people are able to do that just fine because it shows up in your quest tracker in the top right hand corner but what does not show up is Tess's request right here complete all special requests this week uh, 12 slash 15 so if I finish these three right here uh, then I'll have the 15 slash 15 so uh, you can miss two days a week no problem as long as you do uh, the special quest at least five of your seven days every week you can come to this screen and then where it says in progress 12 slash 15 click collect that is 100 sapphires that I believe a lot of people are missing out on every single week because it doesn't automatically give it to you you have to come in and collect it uh, so another thing is they do kind of a good job I don't have any food right now uh, I'll make something real quick to show you uh, if you want to learn all the recipes they're on my discord I'm just gonna make a fried egg real quick uh, four eggs five salts uh, five, make a fried egg, and bam, done, and then I go to my bag, eat my fried egg for my 400 HP for two hours. Now, in the top right hand corner, under my uh, health bar, there is a knife and fork. If I click that, it'll tell me my fullness. So 25, everything that you eat is worth 25 fullness. So you can have four buffs at a time. They can even be the same buff. So if I eat a chocolate cake, I will also get uh, 800 HP stacking those as well. Now, what I want to tell, that's, uh, that's something that most people should know. But what I'm here to tell you right now is you can actually do more than that. Uh, after 40 minutes, you are no longer full and you can eat more things but the stats last for two hours so you can stack these things and have up to 12 uh, foods affecting you at the same time uh, what I like to do is uh, prepare four things when I go into uh, guild bath then after guild bath and right after uh, guild boss then I can eat some more things 
uh, do some more events like the uh, it'll help you a lot in Colosseum. And then right before Crystal Battlefield, I can eat four more things, having 12 buffs when I go into Crystal Battlefield every single day. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Uh, auto farming. So if I go, do, 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 uh, go to the map, world, go as high as I can, uh, 135, view, monsters, and go fight... Uh, this monster right here uh, you can do auto farming now you will see uh, talk about offline battle which we don't have right now in the uh, global version what we do have is right here you'll see I click the auto above it there's a yellow exclamation point if you click the exclamation point this is your auto right here uh, as you'll see I've done nine minutes earlier today so I still have 231 minutes. Uh, you have four hours worth of auto farming. This will give you gold, fairy experience, uh, monster leather, and skill rubbings. Uh, it does not give you actual experience for your character, but it will give you some things to help your character grow. Uh, what else we have? Uh, collect miss rewards. That's hard to show you right now because I've done every single thing every single day. And that is, uh, if you miss rewards, let's say you forget to dance or whatnot, uh, you can, uh, your, uh, the big Miru, uh, not your Miru. So if I go here, uh, view Miru, the big spirit Miru on the right, uh, he will show up in front of you and offer you 70% of the stuff you missed out on the day before for free, or if you pay some uh, sapphires he will give you the full amount that you have missed now uh, you won't get everything and I've come to a determination that everything that has a set amount like dance is a set amount of experience and other th uh, bath is a certain amount of experience things like that they are a set amount you get those from that but things that have a determinant factor such as uh, Elemental Realm, uh, Guild Boss, or, sorry, um, Elemental Realm, or Top League, or uh, what's it called, uh, Crystal Battlefield, that changes depending on how well you do, you do not get those as a reward every day. Uh, I believe I had a couple more things I wanted to tell you all. Uh, do, 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 do. I believe that that's all I had written down right now. I wrote down some more stuff at other locations, but I can't find it right this second. Uh, if you swap fairies during combat, they do not share the same cooldown. So as you see in Team 3 right here, those four fairies have their own cooldown. If I swap to Team 2, uh, the two um, fairy, sorry, uh, holy fairies will still be on cooldown, but the two wind fairies will not be. So you see my two fairies are on cooldown. I swap. I now have the two wind fairies. They are not on cooldown. That is an interesting way to score some more damage, especially if an enemy does not have a specific type weakness. Uh, last thing, oh, last thing to tell you is adventure manual monsters, collect those, is a uh, so most of you already know about the monster manual right here. And so if you kill the monster, right under its lore level, it'll say killing a monster increases 10 lore experience. So every time you kill this swift fox, you get 10 lore experience till you max it out. And as you level it, you get the lore reward experience right under it. Then, uh, then it's maxed out and it's done and uh, you get that attack and you can also uh, transform as I've done right here into that monster. Uh, what a lot of people are having issues with is monster uh, these right here the ancient ruin bosses. Uh, you will see under their uh, lower level they go up to uh, lower level 100. You all, you'll also see killing the monster gets 650 lore experience per kill. Uh, what you can do is you normally only get three rewards per day for doing that monster. But 
you can go in without rewards and get this. So if I wanted to just sit there and do the level 21 for uh, Goblin Master right here over and over, I can level them up to 100 all in the same day. And that will give you uh, buffs for each level, letting you get some additional stats more than some other players would have if they're not doing it. Now, go ahead in the comment section down below, let me know what you liked or disliked about this video, and put experience as the keyword of the day, experience. Till next time, guys.